Alright, yo guys, I hope today's video quality will, will be a bit better. I had some flickering going on in the last video. It's the lighting, man. You know, but what can I do? Alright, I was thinking about making a, a little bit of a longer video today. By the way, sorry about the quality, man. Everything's so expensive in, in this country, and I can't afford, you know, a real phone, let alone the inter like any decent internet. <sighs> okay, anyway, it doesn't matter, right? So, this video is gonna be, I'm gonna be talking about the homeless situation in this area here which is east eastern europe right doesn't matter what country it is really and uh, everything's gonna be from my own personal experience and point of view right so i might not cover everyone's point of view or world view or opinions but Anyway, what difference does it make, right? But before that, I got I got a bit of today's weird shit that's happened to me, you know, in news format for you guys. So uh, well, let's see the weird stuff that's been happening. Okay, so the, there's this dude. I've known uh, for a long, long time, right? Now, I've been telling this same dude for 20 years, man, that if he wants to meet up with me, no mentioning anything about alcohol, he, he better have his own money, and especially he better have his own cigarettes, man. But yeah, then to, I've blocked the guy, you know, from from my calling me uh, I, I don't know maybe 40 times and uh, yesterday was the last straw man because he still doesn't even understand why I blocked the guy right him because you know the, the thing is as we meet up the same thing Still have the same story. He still asks me to buy him beer. Still asks asks me for cigarettes. And as soon as that ends, the guy moves on to the next victim. Right. So I saw the guy and the same story. I was like, "What the fuck are you doing here?" Right. Which was literally. Two minutes after I left my apartment, the guy just walks up to me. What is he even doing in this area? Anyway, God, God only knows, right? Maybe it was an agent of the Matrix. Glitch in the Matrix. Who knows? At the end of the day, nobody can understand or decipher these demons, right? Now to the main topic. I got I got my note, little note paper, so I won't forget about nothing. So first topic. The name of the topic is homeless homelessness and homeless people in Eastern Europe, right? So I have a lot of experience with being homeless myself and. But more than that, dealing with the homeless people, because for me it doesn't matter what the life situation of a person is, really it doesn't. I mean, if the person is halfway decent, I don't mind, you know, talking back to, to anyone who shows any interest to me. So, let's continue. So... What about smoking, right? So, in Eastern Europe, 90% of people smoke cigarettes. 
And they're expensive these days, right? So how do the homeless people afford cigarettes? Well, you may or may not like the answer. They all collect cigarette butts. And the boss do, right? Even I do, I have, even these, these times, right? If I run out, I'm forced to go and look for some cigarettes butts myself. So what, what we did, what we, um, what most smokers go to is we, we just take the cigarette butts take the tobacco out and just roll it in some kind of weird paper, right? It's ten times more unhealthy than a whole packet of axial fresh cigarettes, by the way. It, it's And it's ten times more disgusting. But it's an addiction. Where else are you going to get a cigarette to afford, right? Of course, there are shit tons of people. Uh, who who just go and bother other smokers who, and ask them, bum them from, for cigarettes. But the problem in this area is that, as I said, there's too many people bumming for cigarettes. I mean, how are you supposed to, if you give, hand out 10 cigarettes, you, you're done yourself, right? So for me personally, that's the main issue with, drinking as well. If I get drunk, I get ex especially, you know, generous. So it's not only the drinking itself which is costly for myself. I get generous, I buy out of other demons, these demonic ass people. I buy them drinks and I give them cigarettes as well. So that's, that's the real issue here. So Let's continue. So, most of the homeless in uh, this area, they, they, the drink of choice is vodka. Because apparently, they have this philosophy that vodka gets you the most fucked up the fastest. It's the easiest to share. It's not, it's not very expensive, right around the same price as a packet of cigarettes. And then uh, it keeps you warm at night, and it, it's a great way to pass the time. Oh, and uh, it's an addiction too, so there's no way around it really for these people. And then it's also one of the main reasons these people you know, die so fast. So, so the smarter, more experienced, we call them elite homeless, they drink something a bit worse. It's not actual moonshine. Moonshine is kind of different, but it's something along the line of moonshine or diluted vodka or some crazy shit. Then, as a homeless, you're going to be experiencing the daily news of uh, dead friends. That's right. Every day, you're going to get news of... Okay, again, like, there's going to be a lot of people you know, one way or another, and there's going to be a lot of them dead every day. Now we get to the beggars. I've never really liked... I, 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 personally, I stay away from people because every time I've been homeless, I know at one point I'm going to dig myself out of the bucket. But a lot of the other homeless, they just go straight into begging, right? Yeah, so, what about the uh, homeless who don't go you straight into bed, begging? 
well in Eastern Europe at least I don't know about other parts of Europe there's a little something called the uh, bottle recycling machine right so if you want to get a beer you gotta collect 13 any bottles uh, of uh, yeah, pretty much any bottle 13 of them put them in the machine and you can afford a fresh cold beer or, or whatever from many shop and they have these machines in, in every shops right but you know when you're on the street you're gonna be dealing with a lot of mentally ill people like clinically proven mentally ill people because besides the homeless what do you think who else is going to be loving staying on the streets you know the mentally ill by the way these, these two things homeless people and mentally ill people they all overlap in every way so lastly what are the government solutions in this area right well <laughs> this I'm gonna end this video with a little bit of funny story because it is kind of funny when you think about it the government solutions in this area if you can call them that let's just say the the best of the best solution if you go all the way is you get government housing then you get kicked out from there because you drink and you're back on the street <laughs> so that's the solution and the lucky ones get put into one of these special alcoholic government housing sections buildings right it's just the same as government housing but you're allowed to drink and the reality inside there is everyone in your room you see typically like seven seven alcoholics is 24 7 drunk drinking vodka probably illegal version of vodka and they all share it with, uh, amongst, amongst each, each other 24 7 the oh and um, the poli police will just take you instead of the sobering house back to your Drunker the uh, <laughs> social government housing building and um, the um, what do you put to call it the funeral uh, funeral car is pretty much parked in front of the building 24/7 so <coughs> you can imagine right and there really isn't any more government solutions there. They don't offer uh, like any food stamps or nothing, but we have something like a Red Cross Christian religious some kind of type of food kitchen soup kitchens, right? But it's it's not enough to get like a, like a really watery small portion soup once a day from Monday to Friday <laughs> it's not, not enough at all so these poor homeless people are left and the only thing they can do is just look for some food on, on the streets or typically from the garbage cans right there's nowhere they can shower especially like daily twice a day there's literally no place where they can wash their clothes, but they do offer clean clothes. But you have to be smart to know where are the places you can get new clean clothes. Oh, and uh, typically most of the homeless don't have their, their, their own size anyway, so it's hopeless for them. So what about, what about uh, you know, the homeless who 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 are actually through some 
magic are able to get a job you know dig themselves out like me I don't know the salary will never be enough to uh, pay the initial deposit uh, that's uh, required in this area to move into an apartment anyway so it's hopeless uh, it's n it's n never enough to um, not even close enough to even afford a motel room for like a month I'm talking about mon monthly salary here guys but, but once you somehow do get the initial required payment done then the salary you know probably will be enough to afford uh, the initial payment and um, and uh, then you can move in you know so anyway that's probably why they all drink themselves to death the daily the daily dead news sad Okay, so the government offers no solutions at all. Not, and neither do the Christians or the... None of them. So, how did I... How do I... When I become homeless, how do I solve my own problems? Well, I am an angel. I'm married. And... She'll back me up. And I got two actual people I can call friends in this area or whatever on, on this earth who will always back me up because they, I know them for a long time, they're decent people. And they are uh, vice versa. So I don't really have that uh, the problem like like that right so I'm good I'm, co I'm covered people got my back two friends and my wife so yeah the harsh reality globally is when you become homeless you can pretty much you know I don't know hang yourself Drink yourself to death or freeze to death. It's, it's, I, I'm, I can't do fucking anything about that. If you, if you, if you don't find a solution fast, you're fucked. In Eastern Europe, in this area, you know. I don't know, Finland kind of solved that problem and they got, they got, they solved it partially. Seems to be working. They, they partially solved the problem by offering every homeless free housing and free food. There's no shower, but you can wash clothes. There's internet and Wi-Fi, free clothes and yeah, and there's a social worker on spot. And the death rate is minimal in Finland but everywhere else in Eastern Europe you're fucked so oh I forgot to mention yeah we do have this kind of a you know uh, government support uh, money uh, system uh, that you can use technically if you lose your job but dude it's like one fifth of the minimal salary monthly salary for people who haven't worked at least six years in one company so if you end up being in jail or something and losing your apartment or you just haven't worked in one place for, for six years or longer then you get like one 
then you get like 50 euros a month if you have a bank account <laughs> yep hope you enjoyed the video and drop your comments I'd, I'd really love to hear what you guys think about this stuff I know what I think about this and that's the main reason I stay away from all your fucking people I never make new friends I never talk to anyone I avoid the people like a plague who, who you know know me somehow or think they know me yep what else can you do it's a dog eats dog world I hate that it is like this but it is what it is guys stay safe peace